Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you had a very nice weekend. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yeah. Good evening. Okay, so as usual, we're going to start with the with the platform. So this is the class of tonight. Okay, and here is the the exercise. Okay, we just need to type. Remember that when we type. It's very important to type exactly what is required, right? So let's be careful on this kind of exercises. Okay, and we're going to check about the attendance, of course. Let's go there. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Ada. Ah, okay. Alejandra Michelle Wesson Nager. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldamas. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, good evening. Good evening. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good evening. Good evening. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with a very short video and then we're going to watch. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Here. Elf Learning proudly presents. A Halloween story. Too much candy. This is Jay and his family. They're getting ready for Halloween. Jay's mom is on the steps. She's making his Halloween costume. Jay and his dad are decorating the front porch. There's a scarecrow on the swing, spiders in the corner, and paper bats hanging from the ceiling. Now it's time to carve the jack-o'-lantern. They cut out the top, they pull out the seeds, and they cut out the face. There are two circle eyes, a triangle nose, and three square teeth. They put the jack-o'-lantern on a table on the front porch next to a big scary bowl of candy. But Jay's mom and dad say, Jay, you can only have one piece of candy each day. Jay is not happy. The next morning, Jay wakes up. <gasps> he remembers the candy. He puts on his backpack and he gets ready to go to school. As he walks out the door, he grabs a big handful of candy. 
and runs to school. When he comes home, something's different. The jack-o'-lantern is different. The eyes are a little scarier. The nose is a little smaller. And the teeth are a little sharper. What happened? The next morning when Jay goes to school, he takes another big handful of candy and runs to school. When he comes back, the jack-o'-lantern is even scarier. The eyes are scarier. The nose is smaller. The teeth are sharper. What's happening? The next morning when Jay goes to school, he grabs another big handful of candy and runs to school. But when he comes home, the jack-o'-lantern is very scary. The eyes are very scary, the nose is very small, and the teeth are very sharp. That night, Jay hears a voice, a whisper from outside. Too much candy. He gets out of bed, walks down the stairs, opens the front door. <gasps> Where is the jack-o'-lantern? Where is the candy? <gasps> he hears the voice again. Too much candy. He walks down the stairs and walks to the corner. And again, he hears the voice. He walks around the corner and looks. There's nothing there. Too much candy. It's coming from behind him. He slowly turns around. Too much candy. Jay's in bed. He wakes up. It was all just a dream. <sighs> Too Much Candy by Elf Learning. Were you scared? Okay, what did you get from the video? In the ice cream, it's Halloween. Mm -hmm. It was Halloween, and um, in a child decorate with with um, I don't remember a pumpkin. Um, with arachne, arachne, how do you say tela de araña? Uh, sp uh, spider webs. A spider, A spider what? Webs. What? Spider what? And um, how do you say calabaza? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. No, I don't hear. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in a pumpkin, um, put the child or the father, uh, put the five pumpkin in a table in a bowl of candy. And other night, in in next next day, uh, the eye the eye is scary, it's scary, and 
the the news it was um the nose small small nose and two scars and next day more scars and and finally uh the child wake um wake up no yes wait 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 up in in the um, in in the table uh, is no uh, is alone okay. empty it's empty okay Uh, me teacher, Halloween okay. is is a tradition. Some some countries, uh, the celebration um, of the day of the wishes uh, with great joy. Uh, they prepare <clears throat> the parties with care. They pay a lot of attention to the decoration um, with uh, calabaza, como se dice calabaza? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. With calabazas and, and more. Uh, mm -hmm. The children's dreams of cost costume, uh, costumbres. Of costumbres. Okay. And are excited at the night to go from house, uh, house to house uh, asking for sweet or chocolate. Uh, not, uh, only that. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, go ahead. Okay. I understand teacher, the history is uh, in this a family that is preparing to celebrate her Halloween. Halloween, yes. And the father and the daughter are shades of the decoration. And Henry, uh, the boy, is uh, eager to grab the biggest candy. I understand. Very Only good. Very nice. Very good. Any other comments or opinion? Perfect. So that was the story. It was a little story to introduce you to the topic of today. Like... Go, ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, teacher. In a few words, I like the video because, uh, uh, okay, it's about Halloween, the pumpkin, and the candies, but I listen to that. Uh, there are more, much um, adjectives. Uh, he mentioned the square, the triangle, uh, like figures, and um, and um, smaller than next to. I I put attention in that words, must and this in the history, but it's it's uh, a nice video for child to learn English. Yeah, you know, these videos are very interesting because, uh, yeah, the pronunciation is very clear and also the narrative is very easy to understand. So, and anyways, we can find new words, of pumpkin or spider web. So there are words that we don't use that much and we can learn from that one. Uh, and uh, well, as I was going to tell you, uh, the topic of today is too, too many, too much, okay? so. It's a way for us to introduce to the topic. So it's a very really common word, and we're going to learn a little bit more about that tonight. Very good, perfect. So we have two here. Uh, the meaning in general of two is more than enough. So for example, if I have, if I say I have too many, 
too many pants. That means that I have more than enough. Uh, too much water is more than enough water. Ain't anything related to that one. So we use too meaning more than enough in different positions. Okay, so the first one is two before adjectives and adverbs. By any chance, do you remember what is the difference between adverbs and adjectives? Anybody? Okay, adjective is the, that word that we use to give a characteristic to something. Okay. Adjective. And adverbs uh, gives a uh, time, time adverbs. Mm -hmm. I have, I have forgotten really what about adverbs. Oh, no word. That's why we're here. Okay. So the adjectives, okay. the adjectives, as you say, uh, they are to describe a noun. So you say the, the big, adverbs modify uh, the verb. Very good. So that's different. So. Adjectives, they describe a noun. For example, uh, the open window, the fast car, the nice class. So those are adjectives and they describe uh, the noun. And the adverbs, they describe the verb, they describe adjectives and also they describe other adverbs. So for example, very fast. Very is an adverb that is describing fast. Or very good, I mean, that is very fast, right? Oh, very quickly. Quickly is another. You can say very with quickly. Okay, so that will be it. And we have here an example. Uh, here is very important the position. Okay, so the coffee is too sweet. So in this case, too much sugar, right? So more sugar than enough. It's very very important uh, to use that way. For example, in this case, we're not going to use much, not possible. The other example says, I can't sleep. It's too hot. Okay, it's describing again the situation. It's too much hot. So. It happened too quickly, so I just didn't see it. Okay, we are not going to use much. The car was traveling too fast and went out of control. So you see, two is before the uh, other or the adjective. That's what we're going to learn from this part. Before the adverb, the verb, or the adjective, we are going to have the, um, the word two. Do you have any questions with this part? That is like the most basic, basic. But um, I would like to know if you have any questions. Okay, if we don't have any questions, we're going to practice. We're going to write um, two sentences in affirmative and two in negative. It's very easy. For example, the coffee isn't too sweet. So is is going to be the negative part, okay? If it's another verb, uh, actually we have here another negative uh, an example. Uh, here we can say the car wasn't traveling too fast. So everybody please write two sentences in affirmative and two sentences in negative. And it's going to be with uh, adverbs or with adjectives, okay? I'm going to leave you there the example so you can guide yourself. Is uh, for example, uh, I 
second cooking. Okay, the word that we need to use is two. Two is the word that we ah. need. Uh -huh. So you can say, for example, I cooked too much food, for example, or I I have, uh, I don't know, but it's going to be with a, an adverb or an adjective. So two, <clears throat> and it's going to be before an adverb or an adjective. That is the only thing that we're going to do that. And uh, there are two in affirmative and two in negative. Ah, okay, okay. Very good, perfect. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to wait just one or two more minutes for the rest of the class, and then we're going to share. Okay, I guess everybody has finished. So, uh, Maybe, could you please share your sentences? Yes, uh, sure. Uh, uh, I didn't attend too many classes last week. Okay. I used to drink too much coffee. Okay. The, the girl isn't too sympathetic. My perfect. husband doesn't swim. My husband doesn't swim too often. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see Susana Beatriz of this. Uh, Doe is too hungry. Okay. Uh, the dog can't. Can I in, in negative? Yes, I I have teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eh, the negative. Eh, la estaba haciendo teacher. <laughs> <laughs> 
la ah, mía okay. también. ah, okay, only one. Uh -huh. Okay, perfecto, no problem. Um, Rosalena. Okay. Um, it's too late to take a cup of coffee. Okay. Um, um, the travel to Spain was too long. I'm tired. Okay. Um, I can't sleep. There is too much light in the house. Okay. Um, um, it's too cold to take a bath. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay. Nice, thank okay. you very much. Eh, Carla Vázquez. I guess you're not able to turn on the microphone. <laughs> oh, sorry, teacher. Okay. You have no me. Uh, well, line three. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the, to be, no, to be for adjective in a verse. I don't know. You you don't have to read, but you have to tell the examples. You didn't write the examples. Ah, example. Uh, we used to. We used to. Uh, we used to absolute, uh, absolute, Yes, as read of through the. The. History, for example. Okay. And only one, or do you have the other ones? Only one. Okay, good, thank you. Patricia Linares. Uh, uh, I, I go to office too late. Good. And negative. Uh, I don't arrive too late. For the office. Okay. Only that. Okay, that's perfect. Silvia Solima. Uh, okay, and uh, I have the um the positive okay. only. Uh, the sea is too immense. Okay. And the work is too hard. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Wendy. Okay, I try. This pool is too delicious. Mm -hmm. I can't sleep. It's too cold. Okay. Mm, it's happening too slowly. Okay. Uh, the plane was traveling too fast. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Anna, send me. I don't know if you were able to listen. Yeah, I'm sorry, teacher. I am driving in this moment, and it is too much warning for me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very you. good. Be careful. A few though. moments, teacher. In, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but in that, this moment, I am driving. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I tried Be to careful. do the Teacher, sorry. Of course, of course, it was good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Edwin Alexander. Uh, good night. Uh, I have two. I'm too hungry to concentrate on the game. Okay. And he is too old to drive. Okay, very good. That's perfect. Thank you. Well, okay. Uh, let's see. Adriana Stefan. Mm 
Not possible. Okay, so let's see, Gloria. Okay, I try, teacher. <clears throat> of course. It's a sunny day to go to the beach. Okay. Uh, you are a good friend to whom I trust by secrets. Okay. Uh, don't be so selfish, selfish and share your toys. Okay. You do not be greedy. Where, no, wherever loves money is not satisfied. Okay. Mm, that doesn't help too, but it's, it's fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's see Walter Mauricio. Not possible. Okay. Oh, yes. So go ahead. The this so uh, no. this this so is to her okay hot caliente verdad hot 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 yeah okay hot this hot is to hot okay okay only that um no yet Ah, okay, that's fine, don't worry. Okay, so this is the first part, okay? Two and an adjective, or two and an adverb, okay? Two fast, for example. The second way is going to be uh, with an infinitive. So you remember that the infinitive is to go, to be, to see, anything like that. So we can use two before an adjective and adverb plus an infinitive. So for example, the water was too cold, this is the adjective, to swim, this is the infinitive, in. And the other one says two hours is too long, this is the adverb, and to wait, this is the infinitive. So here we can use uh, the two pieces of grammar together. We can use two plus an adjective and adverb, and then after that one, we're going to use the infant. This is very easy. It's different from the other one because in the other one we just only the adjective of verb. But here we're going to add the infant. That is the structure. Do you have any questions on this? Okay, so let's practice. Uh, we're going to write three sentences only with two, an adjective or an adverb, and the infinitive, two and a verb, of course. So I'm going to give you a few minutes so you can write the sentence.
Okay, have you finished? Yes. Very good. So let's check into that one. Maybe could you please start? Yes. Uh, it is too late to go to the cinema. Mm -hmm. She is too young to drive a car. My mom is too old to travel alone, to travel along. I am too tired to learn at night. Very good. Perfect. That was amazing. Very good. Let's see uh, Walter Mauricio. Have you done this? Yeah, awesome. uh, yeah. It is correct. The traffic is too much slow. Uh, it's missing the infinity. So, for example, the traffic is too slow to continue driving, for example. So, to and the verb. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Uh, Susana Beatriz. Okay. Um, the coffee is too hot to drink. Good. Uh, he is too young to drive a car. Okay. Only that teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. That is very nice. Thank you. Let's see Patricia Dinares. Uh, my grandfather is a too it's too old to play. Good. Okay. Um I am too tired to do my homework. Okay. Okay, only that teacher. Very good, that's perfect. Thank you. Silvia Suleima. Okay. It's too late to play the guitar. Okay. Uh, Maria was too quickly to eat. And the song is too hot to walk in the sun. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see Rosalina. Uh, hello, Rose. Yeah, it seems the internet connection is not good there. So, Wendy, Margaret. Okay, I tried. Uh, the coffee was too hot to chocolate. Maybe the coffee was too hot to drink. This is a verb. The, the coffee was too hot to drink. Uh, yeah, that is better. Oh, okay. Uh, I, okay. San Salvador is too far to Santana. Mm, no, that is different as well. That would be San Salvador is too far from Santana. From Santana? Yeah, it's a different structure. San Salvador is too far from Santana. Yeah, the car, it will be from Santana. Oh, okay. Um, Cinema is too funny to gym. Okay, maybe the problem is that after two, uh, the second two, you are writing not a verb, but you're writing a, uh, a noun. And that is not oh. possible. You have to write a verb. I mean, for example, um, the cinema is too crowded, too crowded to be here, for example. Or, cinema is too, huh? I mean, that was another example. For example, I can tell you, uh, it's too late to watch TV, for example. So, too late is the first part, to watch TV. Watch, it has to be a verb. But if you say, for example, uh, it's too late to pupusas, I mean, that doesn't make sense. It has to be like a verb, to eat pupusas, for example. Mm, I don't understand so much, teacher. <laughs> yeah, the so, problem yeah. is, que usted lo está poniendo, está poniendo después del tú, después de este tú, mire. Usted aquí está poniendo un nombre. Es como que si usted me dijera en español, está muy caliente porque pupusas. Mm. No, verdad, no, no pega. Está muy caliente mm. para salir. Por ejemplo. 
está muy caminando. Entonces, después de este, tú tienes que llevar un perro. Oh, okay. Eso es. ¿Qué? Very good. Okay. Ok, uh, Rosalena, you got. Oh my goodness, it's frozen again. Ok. Manuel Antonio, did you, uh, were you able to do? Uh, not. Teacher. Yep. It's correct. It's, it, it is too late to go to the concert. That is correct, yeah. And, uh, or, uh, I am too tired, tired to do my homework. Perfect. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Uh, Emanuel. Yes, teacher. Uh, I, uh, for example, my boss is too busy to attend the, the meeting. Good. That is perfect. Uh, the house is too is to be or uh, to be painted in one day. Okay, very good. So very good. That is it. Uh, that is the example. I mean, to an adjective in the verb and then the infinitive. Perfect. Thank you. Rosalena, now I guess it's possible. <laughs> Hello, I have problems with the internet. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. I don't understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm try. Um the weather is too hot to take a walk in the park. Okay. Okay. Um, the chicken was too spicy to eat it. Okay. Very good. Um, the other um, three hamburgers is too much to have a dinner. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. That was it. Okay. okay. Um, Edwin Alexander. Yes, teacher. Um, the uh, the school is too small for her to study here. Okay. And it was too wet for us to go and play football. Okay. Uh, let me see another one. Uh, oh, uh, that teacher is too small for him. Very good. Perfect. That was very good. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Susana Beatriz. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, did you have the examples? Uh, excuse me, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, were you able to write the examples? Yeah, uh, the to few four adjective adverbs. Yeah, with infinity. Ah, yes, teacher. Um. E three. Um. Uh, my father. Is too old to play. Okay. Uh, the freezer, the freezer is too heavy to lift. Very good, perfect. Nice, thank you, uh, Adriana Stephanie. Not possible. Um, Gloria Elizabeth. Okay, uh, the girls behave well and is to give him a prize. Okay. Only that. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, everybody, the hey, next one. I, I try other. Okay, go ahead. Other go ahead. Things. Of course. Uh, San Salvador was too far to go in bicycle. Very good. Uh, is other the coffee was too hot to drink. Oh, Very you, good. You say uh, baseball was too difficult for baseball was too difficult to play. Okay, perfect. That is it. exactly nice. The next one with two is too much, too many, too few, and too little. Uh, in this part, remember that this is linked. To uh, the countable and non countable nouns, right? So, too much is for non countable. So, for example, too much water, too much money, too much anything that is not possible to count. Uh, too many is for countable. 
too many cars. So remember that here we can use plurals. Too many students. Too many uh, TVs. Okay. The same happened with the other one. Too few. Few is going to be for comfortable. So too few cars. Too few um, tables. Too few chairs. And little is for non content too little time, too little milk, too little water. So that is the only difference, okay? It's going to be similar, but not the same. So when we want to talk about quantities, which are more or less than enough, we use too much, too many, too few, and too little. Before a noun, this is important. We're going to use that before a noun. So here we are not going to use adjectives. We are not going to use adverbs. Here we are going to use nouns. So for example, there's too much salt. Look at this, salt. That is a noun. It's not an adverb, it's not a verb, it's not an adjective. There's too much salt in this soup, okay? There were too many dogs. This is a noun. There were too many ducks on the beach. Okay. I don't like this book because there are too few pictures. Noun. This is a noun. I don't like this book because there are too few pictures in it. Okay. More formal. Okay. It says that um, more formal than I don't like this because there aren't enough pictures. So it's kind of the same, but we are going to use it more enough. And the last one says, the trip was canceled because there was too little interest in it. Okay, so now, do you have any questions about this? Questions? I see, I, I, I think it is really, really, uh, easy to understand it is only a question to to have practice you know with countable and non countable you know nouns definitely so it's very important I mean, because there are many <laughs> yeah yeah go ahead oh yes that we are always you know when we are learning english it is one of the grammar aspect when uh, the student is uh, making the same errors so often <laughs> too many too few too little and yeah it is only because we have not uh, we, we, we we do not remember you know about countable and non uncountable nouns that is true uh, yes, I mean, this is something that we need to practice. That's why we are taking our time today to write some sentences. So you think, analyze, then uh, you understand. Them. So uh, do you have any questions with too much, too many, too few, and too little? Okay, let's practice. We're going to write one question, or no, one, not question, but sentence. One sentence with too much, one with too many, one with too few, and one with too little. So four in total. Let's write this answers and then we're going to practice.
Who was your celebrity crush when you were young? Okay. Perfect. Let's wait just a few minutes for the rest of the class. Okay, very well, let's check together. So, my way, could you start? Yes. Uh, I put too much sugar to the juice. Okay. Children. Too few people nowadays are interested in arts. To me, it seems that in El Salvador is too little investment in education. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Uh, Manuel Antonio, did you finish? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, how many how many uh, sentences I I have four, one for okay. each. Yeah, that's that's correct. Okay, uh, the first one is there are too many. There are too many questions to answer. Good. Uh, the time is too much to answer the exam. Okay. Uh, there are too few books on the desk. Okay. Uh, the group is too little. The group is too little to begin in the, the race. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Those were exactly perfect. Nice. Uh, Wendy Maribel. Okay, there's, there's too much sugar in this orange juice. Okay. Um, 
there were too many books on the library. Okay. So only two. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Patricia Linares. Okay, teacher. Um, and too much. Uh, don't eat too much candy today. Okay. Okay, and too many. I have too many friends in my class. Okay. And too few. It, as it is, we have too few resources here. here. Okay. And to lead it, I have to lead it time to finish this work. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Silvia Suleiman. Okay. Um, there's too much star in the sky. Okay. There was too many advertising in the television program. Okay. Juan was too few friends. Okay. And there are too little milk in the box. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see Edwin Alexander. One had too many things to do. Okay. Um, I was too little to go out. No, no. Your brother is too little to go outside by himself. Okay. I I just have a few minutes to finish my exam. Okay. And I have too much time to do my homework tomorrow. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Susana okay. Beatriz. Yeah. Um, he smoked too much. Okay. Yeah, the cinema has too many film. Okay. Yeah, the cake has too few fruit. Okay. And the house has too little, little rooms. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Nice. Uh, Rosalina. Sorry, but I'm here with myself. <laughs> you see okay. okay, I try. Um, there's too much milk in the fridge. Okay. Uh, John has too many things to do. Okay. And um, there are too few chairs in the classroom. Okay. And um, I have too okay. little time to answer the questions. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Susana Hernandez, were you able to do? Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Too much homework and too uh -huh. many pending work activities. <laughs> In the kitchen, Um, I have too few knives and, okay. too, and little few spoons. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Maria Elena. Not possible. Adriana Stefan. Not possible. Gloria Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, you eat too much between each meal. Okay. Uh, there are too many desserts on my table. Okay. I have too little time to deliver the assig assignment. Assignment. Good. Assig assignment. Uh, I have to fill emails the morning to start the work. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see uh, Walter Mauricio.
Not possible. Carla Vasquez. Not possible. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ah, okay, okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. Go ahead. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, there are too many cars in there in the parking lot. Okay. I I lay too many cookies. That's why I have a stomach. Okay. And <laughs> sorry, it's too much work. Okay. It's too much you were yesterday. Uh, there was too much traffic this week. Okay. Uh, and I have too many apples. Apples, okay. Apples, apples. okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Alejandra Michelle, is it possible for you? Not possible. Oh, very good, perfect. So can you see? Uh, all the things that we have done, very nice. So much to and far to. We can use much and far with to for emphasis. Far to is stronger than much to. So that is something that we use, but it's not that common, okay? So we can see, for example, much to. Much to food, for example. Far too long. Uh, and also we have to and very. We use very to add emphasis to an adjective or an adverb, but it does not mean the same as to. And we can compare here. She is very careful. So very makes careful stronger. She is too careful. Too careful means more careful than Cecil. This is a very important thing. Okay, so we can say she is very careful. In Spanish, that it will be Ella es muy cuidadosa. Uh, and that is good. I mean, it's in a good context. She's very careful. Oh, that is very nice. The other one, she's too careful. Igual en español lo decimos igual. Ella es muy cuidadosa. But this is negative. She's too careful. Not good. I don't like it. Okay? So that is the difference. I mean, yeah, in Spanish we use the same Word, but in English is different. Very sure. is nice, something good. Teacher, and two is not uh, good. Uh, go ahead. Sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, only uh, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, checking in the uh, student manual. Mm -hmm. And in this context, uh, context uh, two is, uh, it's mean it's a negative. I mean, it's, it's not ne negative. It means that it's too much, okay? Uh, in general, when you say too, it's like too, too much, too many. I mean, more than necessary. More something than necessary. like that. Uh -huh. And very is something good. Very is like very nice. Okay. Yes, very nice. okay. Perfect. So that is it. That is the main difference. I mean, uh, it's not the same. So we need to be very careful on the way that we express these words, the sentences. If you say, for example, oh, you are very, um, you speak very English very well. So that is good, right? So that was, that is it. If I say you speak too much English, that is not good. I mean, it's too much, not necessary that you speak that much. So that will be it, okay? Do you have any questions about this? Good refreshment. Okay, yeah. That that is very important. As I I believe that I told you this before. I mean, sometimes we're speaking with people from other countries in English, but if we use one word that is not the correct one, they are going to understand something totally different. So it's very important this. Okay, and the same happens with very much and too much. We often use very much to emphasize verbs such as like. Dislike, hope, doubt. We do not use too much in this way with these verbs. So, for example, I like it very much because I got it from my husband. We don't say I like it too much because very is in a good context, okay? 
I doubt very much the runner will be able to come to the party. Okay, we don't say I doubt too much that and then the rest. Okay, we're going to write examples with very and two. I believe that is important. So two with very and two with two. Teacher, two. if the two is excessive. Exactly, excessive, too much, not good. Okay, okay teacher, thank you. Okay, it's a pleasure. So uh, let's write four sentences in total. Uh, very, two with very and two with two. Okay, I'm gonna wait.
teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, in the uh, very end, and two, uh, my question is only with adverbs. Uh, you can use it with the most common is with adverbs or adjectives, both. Ah, uh, very good. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> This one. Okay. Perfect. One more minute and then we'll start. Okay. This plant. This plant. This plant. This plant. Okay, so let's check. Uh, my babe, please start. Okay. There, the first one, much too and far too. There is too much noise in this bar. Okay. She was far too skinny to be attractive. Okay. My daughter is very intelligent. My husband is too disciplined. Disciplined. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Really, really, really. That is for <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Very good. <laughs> Manuel Antonio. Your, your look is very nice. This car is very expensive. The waitress, the waitress was too angry and the meat is too salty. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Anna Selmy, are you able to or not yet? Yes, teacher. I have my sentences. Okay. Uh, he is very smart. Okay. I am too tired. Okay. And uh, my husband is very intelligent. Okay. This month I spend too much money. Oh, I Thank believe you. that happens to everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Patricia Linares. Okay. I don't want to go out tonight because I'm much too tired. Okay. And I am told that progress was far too slow and there was far too much problems. Okay. I'm too tired in this moment. Okay. Only that picture. Very good, perfect, thank you. Silvia Suleyma. 
Okay, uh, the students are very happy. Okay. The apple is very delicious. Okay. Um, and the television is very small. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Um, Susana Beatriz. Okay. Uh, Alex is very nice. Okay. Is too a uh, cold outside. Okay. Um, Tony cat is very fat. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony doe is too hungry. Okay. Uh, they can't uh, walk to the metro because it's very near. All right, perfect. Very good, thank you very much. Uh, Susana Hernandez. Teacher, the first with Barry. Mm -hmm. I can be very late because it's raining. Okay. They are very happy with the result. Okay. And then next with two. I took from the jacket, but I bought the dress before. Okay. Um, so she answered the test with a pencil. Mm, okay. I have, I have doubt with that because I think she answered right. the with a pencil. Okay, very good. Okay, that's nice. Thank you very much. Wendy Maribel. Okay. I drive um, San Salvador part two, Santa Ana, Dan okay. Mosh to Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. And my brother is very handsome. My mother is very, very pretty. My friend is too polite. Okay. My co-worker is too responsible. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Edwin Alexander. Yes, teacher. Um, it's too cold to swing in the pool. Uh, this supermarket is too small to buy my food. He was okay. very hungry yesterday. Uh, yesterday was a very hot day in San Miguel. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Maria Elena, uh, I don't know if you are able to still drive it, right? No problem. That's fine. Let's see. Adriana Stephanie. Okay, teacher. Okay. The okay. book is very interesting. She can tie very quickly. Mm -hmm. And the movie was very scary. Mm -hmm. It's very cool day today okay and very good two. okay the, go ahead go ahead the movie was too scary it's too cool today the book uh, no my bed my bed is too comfortable the man is too happy okay very good perfect thank you uh, gloria elizabeth okay um, they are a great many people who will agree with that. He's too tired to go out. She's very low when talking. And uh, he's, he's too skinny. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, there is too much noise to a star class. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Walter Mauricio. Este, uh, my boss is very careful with work. Okay. My boss is too careful with work. Okay. My mom is very loving with my sister. Mm -hmm. My mom is to loving with my sister. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Carla Vasquez. Okay. My little dog is very obedient. Okay. They are very nice people. Okay. My cousin is very tall. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. The skirt is too short to wear. Okay. That the, that cell phone is too expensive to buy. That other and uh, uh, that house that house is too big. And I am too hungry to speak. Okay, very good, perfect, very nice. Uh, let's see, Alejandra Michelle. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, the car is very expensive. Um, the the teacher is very nice. And and my dog is is very hungry. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Very nice. And we have one more here. Too bad. Okay. So in speaking, we can also use too bad or that's too bad as a response token to express that we are sorry to hear about something. This is particular common in American English. I know that you know this, right? So for example, the weather forecast says it's going to rain again on Wednesday. Too bad. We're planning to go for a picnic. How's your mother? She's okay, but she's feeling lonely because she lives on her own now. That's too bad. Does she have many friends living nearby? Okay, so that is uh, like the answer that we use. Too bad. When we want to, to say that we're sorry about something. You don't say, I'm sorry. You say, oh, that's too bad. Uh, we have a few words here. Forecast. What is forecast, my friends? The weather conditions? Uh, yeah. So, but this is <laughs> like... Huh? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, how's the weather? Um, how the probability uh, uh, that it. something happened with the weather? <laughs> Very good. So a forecast is something that you predict, right? So well, with the weather, it's not always accurate. <laughs> Sometimes they say it's going to rain and it doesn't rain. Uh, but that is forecast, okay? When you predict something that is going to happen. The other one is uh, lonely. What is to feel lonely? Like solitary. Very good. It's a feeling. Yeah, it's a feeling. Uh, nearby, what is nearby? Close, teacher. Close, that is it, right? Nearby, close from here where I am. Good, we have one more. Two meaning also. Right? You know this, this is very basic. We can use two to mean also. It is more common than also in formal situations. We normally use it at the end of the clause. So for example, have you decided? I think I'll have the soup. I have that too. So that too is me too, right? So we say me too. Uh, so in short answers, in informal situations, we normally say me too, not I too. For example, I love that color, me too. So remember, it's going to be me. It's not going to be I, I too, no, me too, okay? Because it's the objective of the action, okay? In more formal situations, we can use to immediately after the subject. You too could have a weakened sound, okay? So it's like... Not that common, but it's possible, okay? Typical error. We don't use to to emphasize adjectives and adverbs. We use very. So she was very beautiful. So you emphasize beautiful because it's a good quality, okay? So that's what we use very in a two, okay? And that is it, I guess, for uh, all of it. Um, do you have any questions before we continue? You can see that one little word have a lot of uses, right? That is interesting. Teacher, huh? I think this this very words is easy. You confuse. That is it. I mean, I mean, we believe that we know how to use two, but sometimes depending on the situation, I mean, 
Imagine, the most common mistake is that we vary it to. Uh, imagine that you are speaking with somebody and you say, uh, you are too intelligent. So the other person will feel offended, right? Because what you are saying is, it's not good that you are too intelligent. I mean, I don't like it. You are too intelligent. The other person is going to say, oh, okay, I didn't know that. That was not good. But if you say, ah, you are very intelligent, the other person is going to say, oh, thank you very much. So in my a little word, is going to change lots of things, right? Lots of meanings. So the reaction of the other people is going to be depending on that little. It's very, very Good, let's check here. I have some for you. Exercise to practice a little bit more. So here we have the options. Too, too much, too many, or enough. Let's remember what is enough. Do you remember what is enough? What is enough? Have a, oh my God, how can I explain enough? <laughs> I know, but I can't explain. Enough Sometimes is enough. Enough is, enough enough. is sufficient. sufficient. Sufficient, that sufficient. is it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, enough is when you have exactly what you need. No more, you don't need more. And two is excessive, right? It's, it's not good. Okay, so Billy is not mature. Uh, what do you think? Is too, too much, too many, or enough? Uh, to cop with his situation on song. Cop, do you know what is cop? We need to know that first. To manage, to handle. Very good. That is to manage, to handle some. So, what is the answer that you believe is the correct one? It's enough. It's enough. Everybody agrees? I agree. Enough? No. Yes, enough. Enough. Very good. So let's check the second one. Uh, the box is too, too much, too many, or enough heavy for you to lift alone. Too heavy. Too, too heavy. Everybody agrees? Yes. Too much heavy. Mm, okay. Too much or too? I think it's too much heavy. Too, too much heavy. Mm. Too heavy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the majority says two, so I'm going to leave two, but we're going to check later down. Two. I don't like too much or too or too many or enough salt in my too salt. Much. Too, much too much salt. Too much, much salt. Too much. too much salt. Okay. Number four. I have too, too much, too many, or enough strange ideas about what to do next. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Okay. You are doing That's good. Number five. You are gaining weight because you don't exercise. Enough. Enough. You are gaining weight because you don't exercise. Enough. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take enough and let's see what happens. Number six, you can't go for a while without a jacket. The weather is too windy. Too windy. Too, too windy. Too windy. windy. Okay, everybody agrees. Number seven, there is too much information. Too much too information. information. I agree with it. Too much. Too much, too much information in this small article. I want to find it. Good. Number eight, Rose is clever. Um, no, 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 to believe in everything. Yes, enough. enough. So, everybody, at least that is enough. Let's see what happens. The other one says. Peter is kind. Too kind to shout at anyone. Too kind. Okay. 
to car. His to car. We have to pay too much money. Money. Too much. Too much. Too much money for it. It's mm -hmm. not reasonable. Okay. Rudolph believes he has enough duties. Enough duties. Enough. Too many. Yeah, then. Rudolph believes he has too many <laughs> duties to complete in one day. It too could many. be too many. Too many. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take too many and let's see what happens. There is. Uh, do you know what is much to? Yes, humidity. Humidity, very good. So. I don't know what to do. Please. No. Too much. Too much. Moisture too much. in the basement. Much. Much. Good. There is too much moisture in the basement. I don't know how to get rid of it. What is to get rid of it? What is that? Mm. I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to take away, bring away. Very good. Take away, make it disappear, right? Make it disappear. Good. Number 13. Don't you think your friend may forget to come? I see you are not sure. <laughs> I see you are not short. No. Too much. Too much. I see you are not too short enough. Mm, we have three yeah. options. Enough. Don't you think your friend may forget to come? I see you are not short. Too short, too much, short, too many. No, short enough. Okay, enough. Let's take enough. Let's enough. see what happens. Uh, number 14. You took. Uh huh. Too many. Good cases. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. cases on your trip. You don't need so many things for two weeks. Okay. Remember, uh, prepositions are very important in English. Whenever you see a preposition, pay attention to that one, right? On your trip. Number 15. I am. And I am too much frustrated, too many, no, enough, no. I am too frustrated to talk, too frustrated to talk to you now. Okay, I am too frustrated to talk to you now, okay? Uh, we're going to check. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are oh, amazing. Oh, we are so <laughs> intelligent. <laughs> are very smart. Very smart. good. We, oh, we have an amazing teacher also. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a good thing, you know, because we've made uh, a lot of things, but we are able to do set to set. Very good. We have one more, I guess. Just check here. Let's see. Mm, but no, this is the print. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, okay, I guess that is good enough for us. Very good, very nice. Tomorrow we're going to review, but anyways, I believe that you have done a very good job. Amazing. Okay, so we have a few minutes and we're going to do free practice. Monday of free practice because we have enough time. Ah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Let's speak in general about, let's speak about the weather. Somebody spoke about that one last Friday and how um, the climate is changing a lot. What do you think? Uh, for example, today, yesterday was very hot. And I was, I mean, uh, it was difficult for me to sleep. I have the fun, all on the power. I don't know. So what do you think? Do you believe that it's harder now than a few years ago? Oh, yes, by sure. You know, uh, we can, it seems that we are going to have a very dry season. And, you know, because uh, we have this phenomenon uh, called El Nino. 
N, it means that we are going to have a few rains, a few rains. I don't know if it is correct. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to have few rains and in a little a lot rain of, uh, yes, and a very high temperatures in general. Yeah, it's a big problem. I mean, if we are able to feel it here, in, I know that this is a tropical country, but it's Harder than other years, so not good. Um, well, I was thinking to myself, if this is like this here in Santa Ana, in my home is in San Miguel. Oh, oh, it should be more, uh, more hot than here. Yeah, it has to be very, very hot. I, I, uh, even though, teacher, uh, in Santa Ana. Uh, I consider because there are many many places in high uh, for example uh, Santa Ana volcano mm -hmm. um, the others I, I don't remember the names but I consider Santa Ana is is a color uh, than than other uh, places or departments in in this case uh, we have to reflect reflect no reflect reflect uh, what we we are going to do what we 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 do uh, in this in this situation, because is if is Santa Ana is is hot, like you said, imagine in in the department that normally is hot, like uh, or for instance, uh, La Unión, oh. San Miguel, yeah. El Salvador. The only place I consider is. Uh, Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, San Salvador Volcano in Santa Tecla. Uh, there is, the, the, there is uh, the, the most uh, higher place, uh, places, in, but in low, uh, it's, it's hot. The, the most of places are very hot. Very true. Yeah, it's a big problem. So, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Huh? Yeah. It? So that that is something that is happening. I mean, uh, scientific uh, scientists mm. they before they used to think about that and tell let's be careful about many things, but you know, money, right? Money is the cause of times of a lot of so. It's a big, big thing. And uh, I was reading that the forecast for the next year is that people actually are going to die because of hot, hot weather. In mind that one. That is like... Uh, but, but the last week I was was watching and noticed that in Spain was a, or the, the street or also some province, how to say provincias? <laughs> was... As, uh, Regions. was raining was raining a lot yes there was so many flows mm -hmm. Imagine in the other side of the planet there are a lot of raining actually today i was looking at a video also in turkey i don't remember but there was a flow there's so much yeah, rain in IT, rosalena in IT. Huh? Today oh, was imagine. reported. Today was right. reported that in IT, uh, they they got more than thirty deaths. You know because of floods. Imagine. Oh, but it, 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 I want to I want to add that uh, nevertheless the, the the hot weather it should not mean it no, it must not uh, means that we are we could not. Uh, get a very uh, a strong range uh, too. Yeah, 
you know, because uh, uh, the soils in El Salvador, I the tendency uh, for disaster are very high. And yes. then uh, suddenly we can get a very strong rain and plot, everything is floated. Yes. Yeah, so it's true. I mean, that is, uh, the world is changing definitely in many ways. So the first question we have to think is, what we're going to do. I mean, we in our houses, in our families, uh, we, I believe that we need to find a solution in the short term. So, I mean, fans are not good enough. I mean, I was yesterday with a fan all night long. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, teacher, I mean, one, nah. well, teacher, but not, uh, one thing that I do in my house is recycle. Uh -huh. I, I know I can I can help the whole world changing because the change uh the climate change it is uh is in a is in a whole Salvador. But actually what I do with my family, we do recycle things like put paper in, in one bottle and put uh cans in another one and uh, reduce uh, uh the chicken trash, we put in a part so we separate everything. That's what we do to do something about it the climate change because it's, it's, it's getting worse every day. And you know what? We can see our, our rivers, our borders are depositing. So we need to do something with this. Every, every, everyone has to do something in their houses, uh, little by little, but, but we can do something. That is true. That is true. I believe that uh, maybe we believe that what we do is not important. I always remember about the pandemic, about a Chinese guy eating a bat in the other side of the world, and then that caused a little, uh, a huge impact. That is called the butterfly effect, right? So a little thing can change a lot, a lot of things in the world. So what we do is also important, definitely. We need to start recycling. That is a very good idea. I try to avoid uh, getting plastic bottles and things like that one, because that, I mean, in my uh, that that is going to spend a hundred years. I mean, we're not going to be here anymore and the bottles are going to be there somewhere and damaging a lot of nature and a lot of things. So definitely it's something we have to do. Uh, I believe also education is very important. Uh, I don't know how it is nowadays, but I mean, the trash on the streets is a big problem, right? So something very simple as not throwing the trash there on the street is going to cause uh very it's good. So, Eric, so Eric, I don't know if you remember if you yeah. remember that the government uh, implement uh the they're supposed to put tickets to the people who throw trash in the in the streets. But uh, what you said before, it's we need education first after you put tickets. I think the government is doing the wrong thing. It has to education to the to the people after you you put tickets. But I don't know what happens to to this law. I think he did he, he they didn't approve it. But uh, it it is true. It's we have a big problem here in the Salvador. That everyone throws trash everywhere in our country. It's very dirty. Yeah, that is one of the most important things. I mean, um, the way that we do things every day is going to impact life. I mean, our neighbors, our own lives. Sometimes it causes a problem with houses or with our businesses on the streets where we travel. So it's a big problem. Rosalina, you were going to say something. Oh, yes. I have never seen a, a drought. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I remember that I have never seen a, a, a drought in El Salvador. Imagine in a few years, uh, no rain here. Imagine the the people that lives from the uh, what do you say the cultivos the the crops oh the crops imagine all the people that uh, lives uh, without drought in the country it will be terrible for for all of us yeah yeah I mean that is going to impact the world in a lot of ways I mean it's not only going to be very hot but you're right I mean. Uh, we are not going to have food, right? Uh, or maybe the water, we're not going to have access to water. Maybe the water is going to be very expensive. Yeah, the, 
the rivers uh, they're not they're not uh, have uh, enough water to to make the electricity yeah, many things could happen yeah. in general teacher we have the environment crisis in this moment because the indicators um, indicate indicate that we have a crisis. Um, it's possible that the the future gen generations have the most problem related to the the resources, the natural resources so in general. Oh God, they're, they're gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, you know, I always been very positive about humanity, but nowadays with everything that is happening, uh, you are worried about what's going to happen in the future, right? Not only about the weather, but about society, about many things that are, uh, I mean, the values are not the same. Um, technology has moved very, very much, but also people, they use technology for some crazy things. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, a lot of things are changing, and I believe that it's accelerating that crisis. But the good point is, teacher, that now there is more interest related to of this topic because the effects are not uh, only a uh, social effect now the economic effect is is right um in general that the there are different conventions convention is right teacher yeah conventions um uh, there is um a specific international programs related to the the Engage, oh, but in this moment is not enough. It's not enough. But in compare with the past, I believe that the topic is um, is in agenda of the big countries. Not important. Yeah, I hope that. It will be not not no. It's not too, It's not late. It, I I think that maybe the the all the world is on time to save a little part of the of the of the world. But I don't I don't know. I think that it's 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 time. It's it's not late to to rescue the climate in a part. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is very interesting when we when we indicate and when we put attention what another country, the big countries, are doing about the environment um, topics. But I think what Edwin Alexander was saying about what is happened with the laws, what happened with the, with the people. I also think that we have uh, the citizens has not uh, has not pressure uh, enough you know to, for this topic i think that uh, poverty is also a big factor you know that maybe it seems to be that people in el salvador are sleeping or in other uh, uh, countries like guatemala or nicaragua costa rica has a different approach how to manage the the environmental uh, sit, uh, situation but, uh, for example, in El Salvador, you know, you pay attention to the environmental problem problems when the disasters are, are happening. O sea, when disasters are happening, everybody uh, remember again, oh, yes, we need to reforestate, we need to, to take care of the law that the government is approving or the, the permits they are giving you know, to build uh, new constructions where they, where we do not, 
where we are not allowed to do it, you know, in, in very important rivers or very important water shields, water shields, yeah. hydrographicas, water shields. And, you know, uh, it is more a problem of in our country where, or in all countries where the poverty is a topic, is a main topic, you know, the, the environmental agenda is only for people like us, very educated people. And then okay. we are talking about uh, how, how to handle it or that what can we do or Edwin Alexander means, okay, he is um, recycling and and I am reforestating where I can put a tree, I put a tree, but you know, it is not enough. The citizens, citizenship must um, share the same interests about how to protect our, our environment uh, in phase two, guarantee the, the new generations a better uh, life quality. Very true. So yes, it's a matter of everybody, right? So, and uh, well, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. We hope for the better. We can do a little part, right? And expect that the reaction of the world is going to do something about this. It's very important because, I mean, we sometimes believe that it was for the future, but the future is now. And uh, we are already, we are already getting affected by this. So very good, my friends. This was the class of tonight. Very good. And uh, what, do you have any questions before we finish? Okay. So let's check the attendance and then let's go do, to bed. Do we have homework in, in your platform? Yes, uh, there is a, a homework for tonight. So we're going to do that one. It's for you to type okay. there. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, Ada, Patricia, Linares, Aldamez. Present teacher. Good. Adriana, Stephanie, Martinez, Flores. Present. Good. Alejandra, Michelle, Wesson, Najera. Present teacher. Good. Ana Sermi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erasu. Present teacher. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdávez. Yes. Good. Cara Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Good night. Good, Good night. María Elena Good Guadalupe night. Peñete Escobar. María Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present uh, Silvio Soleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. night. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night. I'll see you. Hello, Maria Elena. Hello, Maria Elena.